potatoes are starting to creep forward now and they're taking these onions over a little bit well I say a little bit quite a lot so what I'm, I think I might have planted the onions a little bit too close to the potatoes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these onions out I'll take these bunches out I'm going to separate them and I'm going to stick them I've just mulched this with some fresh compost that I've sifted off and I'm going to just plant it here see I know a lot of people have started harvesting onions now some of the onions that I planted from bulbs I uh, harvested uh, a few, about a week ago um, but these are more onions that I've got that are not ready to harvest yet and these were grown from seed Those um, potatoes there could actually do with some more mulch adding. So um, what, after I've taken these onions out, I will just come in and add some more mulch to it. And yeah, I've definitely gone too close with these onions. trim those potatoes back they're coming forward too much I'm gonna just give them a little trim it's not a problem trimming back the potato foliage like this uh, they can handle it all that can go straight onto the compost heap um, Might as well mention now while we're talk we're on the subject of trimming potato foliage. We had some um, some some of my mum's friends visited, um, and they wanted to trim back. They wanted to take some of these potato fol leaves to eat. Now I explained to them that uh, you can see the potatoes coming out. Look how far they've come. All I did was um, move some of these onions and, and I got to a potato. So I better um, get some mulch on there. It's pretty sharpish. Because I planted two rows. Um, it's the first row that I'm going to... closest row to the potatoes that I'm going to take out. And before I got distracted by that potato, uh, what, I'll, what I was talking about was uh, onions, uh, sorry, potato leaves. Now, potato leaves are poisonous. They are, they are poisonous. Um, there's a bit of confusion when it comes to potatoes and potato leaves with sweet potatoes. Now, sweet potatoes are a completely different plant sweet potatoes the whole plant is edible you can eat the whole you can eat the leaf you can eat the um, potato tuber they're not actually from the potato family whereas with potatoes these are part of the nightshade family um, and they can and they contain a chemical potato leaves green potatoes tomato tomato leaves um, this, yeah, tomato leaves, um, the buds, the fruits that grow onto the potato plant itself, these 
are all, uh, they all contain a chemical that can cause um, liver damage, can cause kidney damage, can cause stomach upset. Um, I, it can damage your eyesight. That's how, that's how poisonous this stuff is. Now, when I explain to these, uh, to my mum's friends that this is what, what, what it does, what she decided to, what they decided to tell me was, we've been eating it all our lives and we've never, uh, we, yeah, we've been eating it all our lives. Now, the simple thing to think about there is, think about your, think about your health. Look at how many tablets that you're taking. Look at how many different allergies you've got. All of this stuff that you're eating and you're putting into your body is not doing you any good. Potato leaves. Yeah, they're not they're not doing you any good. Um, they're causing whether they're causing you direct, um, whether they're causing you an, a problem straight away, or they're causing you a problem um, um, in combination with something else. They are having an effect. So, for those of you that do like eating potato leaves. It's one of those that do it at your own risk. Yeah, do it at your own risk. Um, just be careful when you tell it, especially when you're telling other people to do it as well. Um, They're not safe. They're not, yeah, potato leaves, they're not safe to eat at all. So that stuff that I've just pulled out, that's going straight onto the compost pile. It's not going anywhere near the kitchen. So I'm still planting these onions in the same method uh, that I initially planted them although I am thinning some out because um, in some pots in some of the holes there were five or six when I, the maximum I want is three or four <laughs> would be fine um, as uh, what the Americans call scallions or what we call spring onions so they're perfect for that but I want I want to grow them on and I want some bulbs out of them we might not get massive bulbs but um, we want some decent we, well we will get decent bulbs out of them this compost once it dries it will start uh, giving way so it might look like I'm burying them quite deep but it's fine Is looking like it might start raining again. We can't. We can't seem to have a few days of sun without some rain at the moment. <sighs> I'll show you the damage that the rain's done to my um, water butts. I'm really not happy this year with the rain that's come down. I'll show you. So this is the state of my water butts at the moment. Um, the rain's come down so much. It's just they've completely um, collapsed under the weight of the water, and they've all just come down. So my job at some point is to fix this up, put this, set it all up again. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping the the tanks are going to be salvageable. So it looks like we've lost the tap on that. This bucket's dead. But yeah, it looks like we've lost the tap on that. Um, it's just come straight out. I don't even. You can't even see where it's gone. 
but hopefully that should pop out again. So that, there's the tap, at least it hasn't broken. It's just got a bit of mud inside it. At least it hasn't broken. Um, still, yeah, I'll get that mud out. But the last time this happened, the taps, the tap actually broke, so we should be able to salvage that. Um, I'll have to fix this. I don't know why it collapsed, but maybe put a few bricks down underneath and then put the bolts back up. I think that's going to be the way to go, rather than use these flimsy things that they came on. So that'll be my next job. That's the list of jobs just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. I'm way behind at the moment. You know, the weather's set back so much. Look at this, this water's sodden. And, but these tomatoes, these are strag stragglers. Um, and rather than chuck the plants, I've got some space. Some of my seedlings didn't go, go as planned. Some of my other seedlings. So I might as well just get these in the ground. Um, if, if I get some late fruit from them, then great. If not, I've lost nothing. So we'll just get them in the ground right now. You stay out of it because you've been stamping on my you've been stamping on my plants. So I was planting sweet corn before, and every time I planted one, he'd just come and flatten it. You back? parts of the garden where the soil is absolutely wonderful and there's parts of the garden where the soil is still like concrete. It's got a long way to go this garden before it's anywhere near right. Um, but we'll just keep working at it, we'll keep working at it, we'll keep improving the soil. And as long as we keep improving the soil year on year, um, we, we should be getting better every year. So these are these are little tiddler of tomatoes. So we'll see how these get on. Beautiful worms. Okay, 